the store. You don't see any businesses in the black neighborhood. Ain't no business in the ghetto, right? Not run by black people, right? The Arab man is selling you your vapes. Right. The Chinese man is selling you. Do Chinese people cook chicken better than black people? Why are we buying chicken from them? Bring it out. They right here, right, you, right there. You go in there, ain't nobody black uh, that owns that store. They might have them back there cooking, but the profit, the wealth, is going to another nation. Right. That's what they are. Read. Curse shall be thy fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. That means where we at, we ain't going to prosper. What we do is going to benefit somebody else. The fruit of thy body. That means that where we are, children will get killed. Right. Our kids going to die here. If they don't die, they're going to get caught up in drugs. If they don't, well, let's, you know, let's rewind. Our children are going to be born out of wedlock. They're going to be born in lust. They're going to be born, they're going to be born of a man and a woman coming together in fornication to create a child that neither that man or that woman wanted. And now that child's going to grow up without a father, with a mother that's struggling, in a neighborhood that's terrible, and what's going to be the outcome? We know the statistics for kids that grow up without fathers. You understand? So there, curse will be thy, thy, thy seed of thy, the fruit of thy body. Right? Jump down to verse 30. Verse 30. Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Read it again. Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. That You know what that, you know when that happened, bro? In slavery. You look at, a lot of our people don't want to look at these movies because it's hard to watch. It's painful to watch. It's painful to watch a scene of a man and a wife coming out of a cotton field trying to make the best life they can with the children that they had in captivity and then see a, 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 a slave master come in there and call the woman out and there's nothing that man could do. There's nothing that man could do. Hey, what's going on, young brother? What we're going over is the history of our people in the Bible. Right? The Bible is not just some book you pick up when you want to be a good dude. The things that are in this Bible actually happen. It's the truth about the world. And not only about the current world, my brother. Not only about the current world. Stick around, bro. We're going over some good stuff. Not just about the current world, but about the world to come. You understand? And it's talking about you specifically. Right? Read. Thou shalt be true the wife. And another man shall lie with her. So these are the curses of the Bible. We were telling my brother about when the Bible said that. Jump back to verse 15 for my brother. Sir. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Down to 30. Verse 30. Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. That happened to us in slavery, brother. You getting married. You are happy. You're already a slave. You already don't have anything. You don't know where you came from. You don't know your history. You don't know your heritage. You're in the worst condition of any people that any people have ever experienced on this planet. But you got a happy moment. You got a wife. And now the slave master is coming into your house, which is a shack, and taking your wife and laying with her. And you don't know when she's coming back. The woman is looking at you because you're her husband. You are your, her protection. That's what our women look to us for. Provision. Protection. Guidance. Leadership. But we broke God's commandments. And because we did, God took all of that power away from us. And now we have to stand by and watch a man take out. What do you think that did to that woman? What did it do to her? How does she look at you now? Last thing. Huh? When you out, and she know he can't do nothing for me. I might as well be the slave master wife. And now, when the slave master's wife, who is jealous, inflicts punishment on your wife because she know her husband's going down there at night. 
and she starts inflicting punishment on your wife and on your children, and even as a man, you can't do nothing with that woman. Bring it out. How do you look to her? The male image in the black community is completely destroyed. Right. Read. Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and shalt not gather the grapes thereof. Home ownership, they have something called the housing bubble a few years ago. Who did that affect? They brought interest rates low. For the first time in a long time, many black people bought houses, and then the housing bubble burst, and we back in apartments. Our wealth is gone. That decimated the black community. That started back in slavery. You, your people built the White House. Your people, you can go look at some of these neighborhoods around here, especially down south. You're gonna, you're gonna find brother down south. You're gonna see some big, beautiful houses, big front porches, huge columns. Who you think built those houses? And who lives in them now? White people. That wealth was passed down. You know, I was looking at a documentary that said that even inside of these deeds. For some of these subdivisions, a clause still exists today that says that they will give you a loan for that house as long as you don't sell it to a black family. Bring it out. Research these things. This thing, you can Google that. That exists today. That exists right now. Redlining. We don't want you over here. Right? Before you go, brother, because it looks like you don't, don't go nowhere, brother. This history is important. Go to verse 68. I'm going to show you that the Bible is talking about your people. Right? Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Go to 48 first. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Now they call us a hate group because we preach the truth of the Bible. We don't hate anybody. Right. But we're going to teach what this Bible says. Right. The Bible said that your enemies. The Bible called the people that it's about to describe your enemies. Read. And hunger and in thirst. It said that when you wanted something to drink and you wanted something to uh, 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 eat, that you would have to go to your enemies as a man. You understand? That existed in slavery all the way to right now. You can look all around you right now. Every store that you go in for clothes, for food, for water, none of them are owned by us. This is a whole shopping center. We don't own Jack. Right. And this is just one. Read. And in nakedness, and in want of all things. So whenever you want it, you want to go to school to get a college education, you got to learn from your enemies. Right. You want to teach your kids about God, you got to learn from your enemies. Right. You want to Google and say, what does Jesus look like? I'm going to Google that on my phone. You don't own Google, but guess what's going to pop up when you look in there? Bam. Right. A lie. You got to go to your enemies to learn about your God. Read. Right. And in what of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Now this is distinctive, right? This is where the rubber meets the road, bruh. And the Bible said that he was going to put a yoke of iron on your neck. Who had yokes of iron on their necks? Bring it out. You got a phone with you, young brother? Because we, we want you to, and when you leave here, continue to research. Google yokes of iron. And tell me what you see. You can Google it all day in every country on this planet, and the same thing will pop up. I don't care what search engine you use. You put yoke of iron in the internet, what do you see, young brother? Slaves. What color are the slaves? Black. They, no. They're not white. Because this said this happened to God's people. So you mean the people in Israel with them little things on the side of their head, the black hat, that picture didn't pop up? You my Yo, is your phone okay? Yo, you sure your phone work? It work. You, that's right. Because you are the Jew, bruh. Right. You are the Jew. That's right. The Jews are black people. Right. That's what the Bible says. And that's why when you read, when he read that Yosef I would be on their neck, that's why the picture of your people popped up. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. Now, look around. You don't have a yoke of iron on your neck, do you? He don't have a yoke of iron. Do I have a yoke of iron on my neck? You see any black people out here?
out here with your survival on their necks, then what does that mean? Because the Bible just told you. What does it mean? Who broke them? No, read it again. I want you to listen. I want you to listen. Listen. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck uh -huh. until he have destroyed thee. So if we don't have yokes of iron on our necks right now, what does that mean? Yeah. What does it mean, brother? We destroy. Right. Come here. What does it mean, brother? We destroy. We are destroyed. Right, right. That's why we're out here right now, without a care and without fear, eager to break God's commandments. We are eager to break the Sabbath day, for which the punishment when we were ruling was death. And guess what? It's still death. God's commandment didn't change. That's why we kill each other and just each other. Brother. That's why there's so much black. That's why every weekend, the, the, the hood turns up, the crime turns up, the murder rate turns up, the abortion rate turns up. Somebody going to die tonight. Right. Old block. Hey, what, where, tell me where the Chinese old block is. Where's the arrow Tukaville? Where, 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 where's that at? It doesn't exist. Why? Because you are God's people and God put your people under curses. And the question is, do you care enough about yourself, your people, your future children to start to fix it? Because you come from the greatest people on earth. You come from the greatest people on earth. But if you don't change the God of this Bible, it's going to be the God that kills you, bro. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Strong in the Lord, his word.